When they came to a place called the Skull, they nailed him to the cross, and the criminals were also crucified, one on his right and one on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. One of the criminals hanging beside him scoffed, So you're the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself and us too while you're at it. But the other criminal protested, Don't you fear God even when you have been sentenced to die? We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man hasn't done anything wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. By this time it was about noon and darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. Then Jesus shouted, Father, I entrust my spirit into your hands. And with those words, he breathed his last. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothes was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. The angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you're looking for Jesus, who's crucified. He isn't here. He's risen from the dead just as he said would happen. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. The women ran quickly from the tomb and they were very frightened but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. Then the eleven disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age.